Hello everyone and welcome to this amazing video on what is OLAP by Simply Learn. OLAP, an acronym for Online Analytical Processing, is a technology that allows for the extraction, transformation and loading of data in order to perform complex analytics and create interactive dynamic visualization. It addresses the shortcomings of the data warehouse by providing improved query performance and allowing for the creation of ad hoc queries and advanced analytics. The concept of OLAP was introduced by Edgar F. Court. Arbor SBS was the first OLAP product released on the market and is known as the solution to the problem of long query times in data warehousing. OLAP works by pre-calculating all the aggregate measures in an index data structure optimized for retrieval. The result is a cube that can be visualized in a dynamic and initiative way. OLAP is known as a powerful tool for enterprise-wide adoption and for providing users with a drag and drop interface that speed up the learning curve. Sounds fascinating, right? Well, OLAP still persists as one of the most in-demand analytics systems because it allows non-experts to ask questions of business data. Let's explore more about OLAP in this video. On that note, elevate your professional growth through this data analytics program developed in partnership with Purdue University and in collaboration with IBM. This comprehensive program offers master classes and adapts an applied learning approach that incorporates real-life projects and business case studies to enhance your practical skills. This data analytics program spans crucial topics such as establishing a strong foundation in statistics, utilizing Python and R languages for data analysis, mastering SQL for database interactions, and leveraging Tableau and Power BI for impactful data visualizations. Check out the course link in the description for more details. Since we already have an understanding of what OLAP is from the introduction, let's now explore into it further by exploring the working of OLAP system. The online analytical process working involves several steps to analyze and report on data from multiple dimensions. Here's an overview of the typical OLAP process. OLAP works by integration of data from various sources, followed by structuring it into a multidimensional model. The data is organized that contain dimensions, measures, and pre-calculated aggregations. User formulates queries to retrieve and analyze data, leveraging the engine's optimizations for the fast query execution. The OLAP system supports multidimensional analysis, enabling slicing, dicing, drill down, and drill up operations. Reporting and visualization capabilities facilitates data presentation. Periodic maintenance involves refreshing data and recalculating aggregations to ensure accuracy and relevance. Short, here are the main steps involved in the typical process of an OLAP system. Data modeling, cube creation, query formulation, query execution, multidimensional analysis, reporting and visualization. The OLAP process enables users to analyze data interactively, perform complex calculations, and gain insights by exploring data from multiple dimensions. It facilitates flexible and ad hoc reporting, empowering users to make informed decisions based on the comprehensive data analysis. The three main types of OLAP, that is online analytical processing systems, are designed to cater to specific analytical needs. These types are multidimensional OLAP, that is MOLAP. M OLAP system stores data in a multidimensional array or cube format. Data is pre-aggregated and organized based on dimensions, measures, and hierarchies. M OLAP offers fast query performance and support complex calculation. It is suitable for applications that require quick analysis of aggregated data, such as financial analysis, sales forecasting, and budgeting. However, M OLAP may need help with scalability when dealing with the large data sets. Next, relational OLAP that is ROLAP. ROLAP system stores data in a relational database management system. Instead of pre-aggregating data, ROLAP system perform on the fly aggregations and calculations during query execution. ROLAP provides more flexibility in handling large datasets and complex data relationships. It is suitable for applications that require detailed ad hoc analysis across multiple dimensions. However, ROLAP systems may experience lower query performance than MOLAP mainly when dealing with complex queries involving large volume of data. And next type of OLAP is hybrid OLAP. HOLAP systems combines the feature of MOLAP and ROLAP. They leverage the advantages of both types by storing aggregated data in a multidimensional format similar to MOLAP while allowing the options to access detailed data from a relational database similar to ROLAP. HOLAP systems provide a balance between query performance and flexibility. They are suitable for applications that require a mix of detailed 
and summarize data analysis. Hybrid OLAP systems can handle both ad hoc analysis and predefined aggregation efficiently. Analytical processing systems offer various operations that allow users to analyze and manipulate data from different perspectives. Here are the main types of OLAP operations. First, we have slice. Slicing involves selecting a subset of a data from the OLAP cube based on specific criteria or value of one or more dimensions. It allows users to focus on a particular segment of the data. For example, let's say you want to analyze the sales data for a specific city like New York. You can use the OLAP system to slice the data and focus on sales figure for New York only. This will give you a clear view of your business performance in that city. And next we have DICE. Dicing is similar to slicing but involves creating a new cube by selecting specific dimensions and their corresponding values. It allows users to examine data across multiple dimensions simultaneously. For example, you want to analyze sales for a specific city, for example New York, and a specific product category like electronics. By dicing the data, you can create a new view that shows sales figures for electronics in New York only. This lets you understand how well your electronic products perform in that specific city. Next, drill down. Drill down enables users to navigate from a higher level of aggregations to a lower level of detail within a dimensions. It involves expanding the view of data to reveal more specific information. Like for example, you can drill down from yearly to quarterly, monthly and even daily sales. This will help you identify trends and patterns at different levels of granularity allows you to see if there are any specific periods when sales are particularly high or low. Next, drill up or roll up. Drill up or roll up is the reverse of drill down. It allows users to navigate from a lower level of details to a higher level of aggregations within a dimension. It involves summarizing data to a higher level of hierarchy or consolidations. For example, user can drill from daily to monthly or yearly sales data to understand overall trends and performance. And lastly, we have pivot. Pivoting involves rotating the axis of the multidimensional cube to view data from different dimensions. It allows users to recognize data and analyze it from alternative perspective. For example, let's say you want to analyze sales data by city and product category. By pivoting the data, you can change the perspective and view sales figures for each product category across all cities. This will give you a comprehensive overview of how different product categories perform in different cities, helping you decide on product assortment or marketing strategies. And next, online analytical processing has various applications across industries and sectors. Here are some common applications of OLAP. Financial analysis, sales and marketing analytics, supply chain management, healthcare analytics, human resource analytics and many more. And with this, we have come to the end of this video on what is OLAP. I hope this video was informative and interesting. If you need help opting for the data analytics program, please let us know in the comment section below. We will get back to you as soon. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.